So here I <laughs> So here I am <laughs> with my pestle and mortar here. <laughs> So I have the same thing here, just like they have it here as well. I can't imagine they are, we are going to have this in The Sims 4. Hi guys, this is Martini here, your Southeast Asian girl. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to watch The Sims 4 for Ren, official gameplay trailer together. Um, it was released late at night yesterday. And I wanted to do a live stream, but it was too late for me. It was released at 2 a.m. my time. So, and your girl need to sleep. So here I am now doing the recording instead of doing it live. So let's jump right into the trailer. I'm so excited. Woo! Okay, okay, so let's see. <gasps> okay, so I am going to take everything really slowly. I'm gonna go scene by scene because I do not want to miss out anything. Okay, so here we have the photo frames. <gasps> oh my gosh, they have these here, the rattan basket. It's so cute. Okay, so we have this. We can use it for... um. Some you can, it's called a rattan basket, some call it rattan tray, so depends how you use it. My grandmother have these and she will use these to um, collect the herbs she got, she planted in the garden. And then she will just collect them and then put them in the basket, like air it out or something. So yeah, it's, I really love this. This like brings so many, so many childhood memories to me. I know I don't have it here right now with me. I saw it and I really want it. It's really like a good nice for decorative purpose but um i have no use for it and nowadays we are all going for minimalist so yeah i didn't get it oh gosh oh gosh i love the rattan chest so much i really really love rattan chest but it's so freaking expensive here like the whole set can cost can go up to like five six k maybe so it's very expensive so nope for me but I'm so glad that I'm able to have rattan furniture in The Sims 4. Oh, the Ling Sadia family. Oh, so cute. So now we get to see the family in Tomorang. Okay, so we have the Lin Sadia. I, from what I know, Lin is a Vietnamese name. So, and so I assume they're Vietnamese. At the same time, this Sadia. Sadia sounds um, Indian to me, so I'm not too sure. I could be wrong, but it sounds very Indian to me. So I guess it's a mixed marriage between a Vietnamese and maybe Indian or Thai family. And just look at the interior behind it. Like they have lotus pattern curtains. Wow, it's like they are going all out on Southeast Asian team. And curtains are not excluded as well. And what do we have here? Susu di ka! Oh. oh my god, look at the architecture. <gasps> oh. Okay, so he's thinking of um all of them are thinking of something. Alright, I'm thinking of a uh, llama. Oh! Oh, okay, 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 you see that? You see that? Okay, let me just rewind a little bit. <gasps> It says here, 22 Sungai Point. Oh my god, even the name of the lot is... It's so Southeast Asian. It's so cute. So Sungai means river. It's Indonesian and Malay language as well. Like in Malay, we call river as Sungai. And in Indonesian, I believe it's river is Sungai as well. They name it as Sungai Point. It's so cute. Like I have a lot of streets here named after Sungais as well, after rivers. So I find it really, really cute that they had named it here Sungai Point. Oh, Look at how they're gonna break down this multi-residential lot for us. So that's our home. And then Auntie T's. Alright. <gasps> okay. So you get to add few units and rent out to tenants. <gasps> okay. So you can have like... Okay, it's, it says here our home. Auntie T. Okay. So you can create units. So you get... It's like kind of like partition and then you get to um, allocate like how many tiles you want for each room. Okay, cool, cool. And then um, how many beds, how many toilets. <gasps> okay, so there's three, 22 Sungai Point. So 22 Sungai Point is the lot name. And then there's room number three, room number four, I guess. Okay. <gasps> cool. Oh, okay, shared spaces for tenants to get to know each other. Nice. So do you have like a common area where they get to share um, 
share the common area so i was thinking like okay we can have pool we can have a gym and maybe we can have like um like a karaoke room right i mean we just love to sing a lot we just love karaoke so much so we can have a karaoke room for the tenants for family members to come and sing and then so we have this sign here i guess it's for maybe like to tell that it's for rent maybe Okay, so we have tenant agreement. Okay, so rent per day is 30 simoleons. And 117 is the max rent. Is that all? Like, we can't we, like, you know, make the place, like, really bougie rental lot. And then they have to pay really expensive rental. I'm not too sure. And then lease length 14 days. <gasps> Okay, so we can actually determine the lease length. Okay, that's cool. Also, I was thinking maybe can we make the lease length into like one or two days. And then we can make it into an Airbnb. So the tenant can just come one or two days. And then after that, they leave. And then we get more another set of tenants. So I guess we can finally play Airbnb. And it's just so, oh my god, it's so fun. I love it. I love it. Okay. And then the unit rating. So I guess we have to make our... We need to keep our unit rating high. Like how we run restaurants and retail shop where we need is it retail shop do we need the ratings okay i can't remember but restaurants we need the rating to be high so here we have the size medium amenity oh so this is like the feedback from the tenants like they're telling you about the size of the place the amenity whether they like it or not the environment well, how is it and maintenance whether is it good so if we do not maintain the place then they will have poor ratings <gasps> okay and then we have unit rules no social events oh my god okay i can't wait to play as a tenant and then i'm gonna like party and party and party with this no social event rule so i'm gonna make it make this rule active but then at the same time i'm gonna throw lots of parties here no loud noises Psst, we are all we gonna be loud people okay then <laughs> maximum occupancy okay so i was i was wondering okay let's say we play as a tenant and then let's say there's only like three um three sims the parents and the child and what if like the mom is pregnant and then give birth to a few children like how is it gonna go like will the family get kicked out i'm not too sure i'm so we're gonna wait and see how is it gonna go and um oh okay so there's no what about pets can we bring pets along like i know a lot a lot of places here like mostly we do, we're not allowed to bring pets if we are renting and no trash overload oh please i'm gonna trash the whole place and then no ghosts okay okay so i guess ghosts is no exception they are not invited here okay so we have here currently unoccupied and then here it says unjustly evict oh my god we can actually do that unjustly evict i know i feel bad it sucks but um in the sims i'm definitely gonna do that okay so you get to travel to unit so i guess we don't have to stay in that property itself we can actually stay in other places then if you wanted to go to this place then we can get to travel to unit just the same like restaurant or retail just the same like restaurant or retail lot Okay. Okay, that's Auntie T rent per day. How much is it? Okay. <gasps> okay, wait, 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 wait. No, don't go so fast. Hold on. Slow down. Slow down. <gasps> oh my gosh. So cute. Oh my gosh. Look at what's this. <gasps> okay, look at that. That is like an. Uh, it's an elephant decor on the wall. Okay, I can see the elephant decor. This is cute. This is so Thai elements. Okay, and then um, the car. This is I. I'm think this is Taos. I'm not too sure whether it's a rug or Taos, but I assume it should be Taos. Maybe it should be rugs. Okay, no, never mind. We'll figure it out later. And then uh, okay, okay, moving on. <gasps> okay. Uh. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is so cute. Okay, okay, look at these. We're gonna have these um, new pictures, um, a Thai pictures. And this is a Vietnamese lady wearing the Ao Yai. 
And then they have the Vietnamese hat. So I was wondering, will we be given the Vietnamese hat as well in the Sims? So it'd be so cute to be able to wear the Vietnamese hat. I'm not too sure what's the proper name that's called, but I really, really love one. My friend just went to Vietnam recently and she bought a hat home. So I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. I want one as well. So I just can't wait to visit Vietnam one day. And then I'm just gonna bring this, just like any other tourist, I'm gonna bring this hat home as well. <laughs> And I really hope that they um, they give this this hat um, to wear in CAS and also as a decor. Like if you can, I see. I went to lots of Vietnamese restaurant and I see them hanging the hat using this hat as a decor and they hanging on the wall. It's really really cute. So that makes me want to build a Vietnamese restaurant as well. Just run a Vietnamese restaurant and then we get to decorate it in this um, Vietnamese theme. So oh my gosh, I hope they give give us this hat but i'm not too sure so far i don't see any because if they have it then they would have shown us here right so okay never mind okay uh oh gosh do you see that that's the elephant pot that we saw when they were giving us this um teaser roadmap earlier they, they show us in yellow and this is in blue this is so cute and okay is this like okay this looks like clay pot to me all right and um Okay, so here what it says here, fill vacancy. Select a tenant household to move in. Okay, so unit rating currently is very poor. And this is the unit rules. And then there's bed and bath, three beds, two toilets. Rent per day is 65 simoleons. So these are the available these are the available tenants that want to move in. So we have Lou here. She wants one bed. Okay, and she her budget is 150. Alright. So we can actually choose which tenant we wanted to rent out to. Okay, okay, there's pawn and then there's workman. Right, so he actually gets to show us like how many adults are moving in as well. Okay. And then um that's family, elder, adult, child, and baby. Okay, so I was thinking like like we mentioned earlier, like what if the, one of the adult gave birth? So what will happen then? Will they be evicted or they will request for a bigger room? I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Look at them. They look so cute. They look so pretty. Alright. Okay, okay. That's fire. That's a bad tenant. Okay. Okay, even the narrator sounds Indonesian to me, so I'm not too sure whether it's his uh, Indonesian, but he really sounds so Indonesian. So I really like, this is so cute. Even they get a Southeast Asian to narrate this gameplay trailer. It's just so adorable. Okay, so if they're late on Ren. Okay, so she's gonna pay. Oh! Oh, we get to become a repo man. Oh my god, I love this. I love this. I love this. So it's like just like whenever we don't pay bills, then the repo man will come and repossess all our items. And so now we get to be the repo man and use this vacuum looking thing and suck up their things and sell it for money. Yes. Okay, and then, okay, they're gonna leave a pile of trash and then we have the teapot again. The teapot is so cute. Okay, they're gonna like mess up the whole place here. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to be a tenant and just mess up the whole place and trash the whole place. This is so cute and oh my gosh, they have a Tiffin carry here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I just can't believe that here I am sitting here being so excited over a Tiffin carrier. Okay, so my so this Tiffin, so if you guys don't know what's Tiffin carrier, it's like um it's for you to pack your lunch or maybe in case if you want to take, do takeaway and then you just bring this tiffin carrier outside to the shop or to the restaurant. The restaurant staff will just pack the food for you. So for this, for this one, there's four levels. So usually maybe it's soup and then they will... Then the second level is maybe rice and then the third one maybe is some fish or piece, fish. It's just like, like a piece of fish or maybe chicken or and then the top one is vegetables. So we, I don't think anyone use this anymore. But um, 
my grandma used to use this she used to carry this around like everywhere and then like let's say you cook like sometimes my grandma used to cook some like some food for us and then want to bring it to over to our house so they will pack all this into the stephen carrier and then just carry it to our house so it's we're seeing this stephen carrier it brings so much nostalgia to me and it's so so cute like i don't really, nowadays i don't really see it anymore and it's more of a, like a decorative purpose nowadays like it's not it's just to you know show like oh i have a tv carry here it's just for decorative purpose so yeah they have this in sims 4 too so i'm not sure whether is it functional or maybe perhaps it's a decor item as well but it'd be so cute like imagine you can like you wanted to do picnic so you get to pack the food here and then you get to bring it around like we have it in cottage living where you have the basket the picnic basket so i don't know whether this functional i hope it functions as the picnic basket as well oh he's begging he's like please let me just give me a few more days i'll pay rent oh gosh i guess this is what people said about the fear of eviction i remember what i tell you guys this is just a game so we have to face our fears don't let this game triggers you don't let this game trigger you all right okay and then he cleaned it up he's like hey look at these ran paid <gasps> oh okay so there's a strike by tenants <gasps> oh so we can actually revolt as tenants look at that and um what did she do she looks really guilty i wonder what did she do and look at her outfit it's so cute okay and that's a ghost all right and what's going on here oh he doesn't look she's it's not that she looks guilty she's she feels disgusted because there are roaches on the floor it's so disgusting and okay so this is all the tenants revolt as well it's so cute we can actually say like make maintain the house please maintain the house so we can actually do that this is fun oh my god i love this i love this i love this i have history of really bad landlords and i just yeah well for us we just you know whenever the landlord was being shitty to us so we just pack and move i didn't like really like want i didn't want to make it a big deal so i didn't revolt but yeah I would really love to do that to revolt against my tan against my to revolt against my landlord. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna do that in the Sims. And what's going on here? Oh, there she is stepping on the roaches. Okay. <gasps> Look at that she is. She looks so happy, repossessing all these things. Okay, so I guess they are husband and wife. So the wife is the, you know. She's like, you pay the rent now. Pay rent now. Now, if not, I'm going to repossess all your things. Oh my god. Just, this just brings back memory of this one landlord that I have. That she was the day that I wanted to move out. And I've cleaned the whole place. And she just doesn't want to return my deposit to me. So, yeah. This just reminds me of her. And then this, I assume, is her husband. Trying to, you know, um, telling the revolt. The then telling the tenants off i guess i'm not too sure what's it doing all right and then here we have those uh, ee, why is he you why is he playing at these um squat toilet oh gosh oh gosh and i hate this i hate this squat toilet so much like oh and it doesn't oh and it, it, it's so disgusting ee, he's playing it you Oh, and the dance, and the dance. I love it so much. I think until now, I just still can't figure out what dance is this. I try to like look for it. I'm not too sure. I assume it's Vietnamese dance, but I may be wrong. So if you guys know what dance is this, please tell me. I would really want to know. <gasps> okay, and look at her. Look at her. She's making the Vietnamese spring roll. She's making it. Dan, Dan, look at that. She's rolling it. <gasps> Okay, okay, this is cool. And look at the new um drying rack that we're gonna have here. It's oh, it's so 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 Southeast Asian. I used to have one that looked exactly like this. Okay, and then here, so I've heard that it's not a rice cooker, it's a slow cooker. Um I don't know, like if I'm not too sure like why would they have a slow cooker here? Because slow cooker would take like two hours to cook rice. And um, do people still use slow cooker now? Okay, maybe maybe there are people who use slow cooker. But you know nowadays, us, we want things to be fast. So we, we um, 
Or maybe could it be an instant pot like pressure cooker? Like, wait, hold on. Let me just see. Like they have this. So it looks like, it kind of looks like a pressure cooker to me. So, okay, maybe it's a pressure cooker where you see the steam comes out. So it's, um, well, this is an instant, I guess this is the instant pot, like where you get to throw everything in, including soup. Like for slow cooker, it would take eight hours to cook the soup. Whereas for pressure cooker, half an hour. It's done. You can take half an hour or maybe perhaps an hour just to cook the soup. Yay! And then look at this tea fin here that I mentioned earlier. And oh, look at the dish here. It's mango sticky rice. My favorite. <gasps> Woo! And oh my god, guys. You see, this is so cute. They have the pesto and mota here. Oh, it's the deco items, I guess. I don't think it's functional. <gasps> I have the exact same one in my kitchen. Let me just show it to you guys. Hold on. So here... I <laughs> So here I have with my pestle and mortar here. So I have the same thing here, just like they have it here as well. I can't imagine they are, we are gonna have this in The Sims 4. So if you guys don't know what is this, so this is like this pestle and mortar here. So we use it to make our um like we wanted to make paste or we want to make sambal. Sambal is like a how do I call it? Like it's not chili sauce, but it's um it's a spicy. Uh, sauce for you to eat with so yeah so we usually we will put like chili garlic and onions and all that and then we would just like you know we just keep grinding and grinding and pounding it until it's uh, until it breaks yeah so yeah, I have it here but um, honestly I don't really use it anymore because it takes time to grind it and pound it so usually what I do I just throw everything into the blender so to make things fast yeah I know, I should be using this. If you want it to be authentic, then you have to use this. But it takes forever. I, oh my god, I really can't believe that I'm showing you guys this here. It's so funny that I'm showing you guys the pesto and mortar here in this Sims YouTube video. <laughs> like, this is not even a cooking channel and here I am showing guys this. <laughs> alright, alright, moving on. <laughs> okay. So, what we have... Oh, it's the Sky Lantern Festival! Oh, Okay, it's so pretty. So, I don't know. Okay, so I think they, they're not gonna write anything. And then, uh, I'm not too sure in Thai whether they actually write something. And then just let it... Let the land... And let go of the lantern. Whereas for Chinese, um, I thing like maybe in China or Taiwan I remember like you get to actually write your wishes and uh, on the lantern and then you let it float so I'm not too sure whether the Thais do they actually write something on the lantern I love it so much okay I can't wait I can't wait so 7 December I guess so currently today is 17 November we have approximately um, 3 weeks to go so yeah, so let's get ready to build our multi-residential lot. Like, there's so much in my mind. We can build apartments, duplex, townhouse. And um, I was thinking like chalet and I was like, okay, no, regardless what kind of build it is, I'm so excited to to run an air. I'm so excited to run an Airbnb in The Sims 4. Like I was thinking like maybe perhaps like instead of apartments, I can build like something Southeast Asian theme like all those small little chalet houses, the huts. And then we get to rent it out. And, and we get to rent it out for a couple of days. So it's gonna be so fun. There's so many gameplays that I was thinking or maybe we can get a whole family community lot to stay in there and then there'll be so many dramas. The aunties will be there. They will be so nosy asking you, when are you getting married? How much do you earn? And oh, do you know that my son, my son, do you know that my son earned much more here than, you know that my son earned much more than you? Oh my God, you're not married yet. My son already have two children children what about you why aren't you married yet you're not getting younger anymore girl you know you're getting old you need to get married tick tock tick tock oh my gosh every single time every single family gathering i have to listen to this so and i don't know why i'm gonna do this in the sims maybe in the sims i'm gonna become the annoying auntie like going to boss around like oh when are you getting married why are you studying why are you getting your degree from 
<laughs> oh gosh this is so fun like it brings so much like you know um drama it, i can just think of drama i don't know i okay i don't know why like i just need to create southeast asian drama here in the sims 4 like like why like i mean i live in it but at the same time i just want to play it i don't know why i don't know all right guys i'm gonna end this video here thank you so much for reaching the end of this video tell me what do you think of the sims 4 for ran expansion pack will you be getting it and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos coming to you and i'll see you guys next time bye duck duck